chief librarian. I am. Congratulations. Thank you. It looks wonderful it's, from the outside. It's going to be fun. Thanks for coming. Hey guys, one of you come out? 
Let's show Mr. Kenzie. Mr. Kenzie, come on, there's a green screen right here. Alright, ready? Okay, all the spoilers. Alright, just gonna take this. Come in. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's <laughs> and it's strictly cost recovery. And this is all from the 3D? Yep, that's right. Hello. Can I judge? Sorry. Absolutely. And you can make larger objects oh, by that, eh? piecing them together. Is that amazing? Yeah. Oh, the teeth are very sharp. <laughs> <laughs> now, does it come in different material, or are you just the same? It's a filament. It's called PLA, and so it's a uh, cornstarch-based uh, plastic rather than a petroleum-based plastic. So if you shred it, it's biodegradable, um, and it comes in a multitude of colors. And uh, basically, if you just peek around the back there, you can see the filament is hanging on the back of the machine. It looks just like this. It comes in different colors, as I say. Right now we've got white on there. It feeds through, and it's basically like a giant glue gun. The whole hot part of this whole machine is the extruder. And if you get right down on the level, you see where it's extruding the filament, almost like a glue gun, right down onto the platform itself. And what it does is it takes the image or object that you created, the software slices it, and it just prints it in slices from the bottom. So it's got an X, Y, Z axis action. Yeah. And so there's only three axes moving, as you see, X and Y here, and then the platform will work on the Z First impressions, Jamie? I like it. It smells... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. Never mind. It's all right. It, you like it. That's enough. That's, it smells fresh. It has that new library smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit... Full. I understand. It's okay. It's Don't worry about it. You're a writer. You're a world of words. For Toronto's, right? Yeah. Well, I can pull some photos into the Flickr. I think Michelle got the, the worst end of the deal there. What? Michelle got the deal to tell everyone, sorry, we don't have the bridge built yet. whether you find that through technology or whether you find that through a good book. We think Fort York does all these things and we think it does more than that. It brings you knowledgeable staff, it brings you great collections, it brings you great spaces, and there's a particular emphasis on innovation. So if you're interested in 3D printing, I encourage you to check out the uh, Digital Innovation Hub upstairs where you can learn how to 3D print. If you're uh, a laptop user and come here to work and go to our laptop bar and enjoy the great views, which are going to get better, I promise you. Um, if you are not so much on the digital frontier and you need a little help, then come to our computer learning center and we're here to help you navigate the new world.
Perhaps most importantly, we know this community is going to be growing and evolving, and we want to grow and evolve along with you, so we've created a space that is flexible and can change over time. There's lots to discover here. I'm sure you want to wander around. We want you to, but before I do that, I want to introduce Mike Podrick, who's the chair of the library board, who's going to share a few words. Mike. Chair of the Library Board, Paul Ainsley, Councillor Paul Ainsley, just give him a wave in the back. Uh, uh, Mr. Cameron Mackay, as well, who's a member of our board. Um, I'm sure there are other library board members here who I haven't seen. I'm sure we'll have a chance to introduce you to them as we go on. Members of City Council, I've seen a few of them here. Uh, former uh, members of City Council, Adam Vaughn, uh, I know he's in the audience. Uh, he's played a very important role in this library, which I'm going to speak about in just a moment. Um, Mayor Section 37 funds and those sort of creative funding uh, 
uh, possibilities that are made possible by the local councillor at Pond, uh, for the most part, taking a keen interest in this uh, this facility and making it a priority over a number of years to direct little pots of money here, little pots of money there, until eventually, after a few years, you actually have a lot of money, uh, and we can do what we're going to do today, and that's cut a ribbon. The other side of the equation, as I said, and I think actually we need to owe uh, Councillor Arkham Water round of applause for his work on that. The, um, the other side of the equation is operating funding, and this gives me a very brief chance to brag a little bit about the work that the Toronto Public Library staff and the board to some degree have done over the last few years because I really think it's a story that, that hasn't been told loudly enough. Um, it's been nothing short of amazing uh, when you look at how we found the operating funding uh, for this branch and the other things happening at the library. When you compare how the library is operating today in 2014 to how there was in 2011, I'm very proud to say that the following. We have more programs than ever before. We have more open hours than ever before. We have a bigger collection in both uh, relative and absolute terms uh, than ever before. We're opening two entire new branches this year for New York and Scarborough. And then even with three years worth of inflation, we're actually doing all of that for about three and a half million dollars less to the City of Toronto taxpayer than we did in 2011. And that's something short of amazing, I think. Uh, and so that's again part of the reason why we're here today because it's operating funding to pay for it. So, in closing, there are some other people I want to just pay particular thanks to. Uh, one of them, uh, or two of them, I should say, are from Context Development. Uh, specifically, Mr. Howard Cohen and Peter Benatar. Are they here? Uh, I think I did see them. They can just give a quick wave. So they were from much of the library district, uh, district you see around us, and uh, they actually have made a public art contribution of $500,000 which is going to fund, uh, and you're going to see it this summer, it's going to be an art installation, uh, the art of Charles Pactor and the poetry of Margaret Atwood uh, from the journal of uh, Susanna Moody. Uh, and this is uh, an account of what it was like to live in Canada in the 1830s. This is going to be an art display on the upper windows you're going to see uh, later on uh, this summer uh, when you come back to the branch. And they also donated all the refreshments uh, today, so that's what we're grateful for. Um, Bond Field Construction, these are the guys actually swinging the hammers and on the ladders. Uh, you still see some of them around, uh, polishing off some of the rough edges on the building. Um, they're the ones who actually do KPMB Architects, especially the principal architect, Sean Gruber. We're going to hear from her in a moment. She's the one who dreamed all this up on a piece of paper at some point in time. So you're inside of her vision. Um, and you're going to hear from her in a moment. Um, and uh, our Toronto Public Library staff, uh, it's impossible for me to name all of them, uh, but there are a few that I absolutely must name. Jane Piper, our city librarian, of course. Uh, Ann Bailey, who's the uh, director of branches. This has been her mission for about 10 years now to make this a reality. Uh, I'm also proud to say that on Monday the board decided to uh, appoint her acting city librarian uh, when Jane steps down later this year. Uh, so this is excellent. And uh, another person I want to point out is Ted Belkey. Where's Ted? best friend for those who are coming here looking for things and uh, when you want to escalate a complaint, not that you will have any, but that's the guy will go to. Um, so I just want to thank you again uh, for coming on this historic day on my behalf and behalf of the Toronto Public Library Board um, and it's an exciting day. I wonder what it might have been like to be uh, you know, there 50 or 100 years ago when the Beaches Branch opened or uh, you know, the Riverdale Branch opened or these other iconic branches. I'm just sure uh, that 50 or 100 years from now they look back at pictures of today when this is just as iconic a branch uh, and remember it. So thank you for joining us and uh, thank you for helping us make it special. I want to also welcome up now Shirley Bloomberg, uh, who is the principal of uh, KPMB Architects, to speak uh, very briefly about her vision for the library. Thank you. Um, and I will be brief. This project has been a remarkable commission for us. We are so proud to contribute to one ninety-ninth of the most successful library system in the world. Our branch libraries truly are our urban living rooms. This location where we're standing is extraordinary in the history of our city. This was really the inspiration for the design. 
It was the mouth of the Garrison Creek, where the forests of pine, oak, and locusts met the lake. And 200 years ago, as the War of 1812 raged on, the military barracks on this terrain were destroyed. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. This site, with the future park to the north, perfect timing, thank you, uh, is unique in its connection to Fort York, and the angular geometry of the building is inspired by the form of the ramparts. But mostly, the building we are in is about creating community, the vibrancy of shared public space and resources. In our practice, we believe that every building implies a city. The contrast between the small city of books and digital media and the decaying infrastructure of the last century that surrounds it is a magical moment in our downtown fabric. I would like to thank our clients, in particular Jane Piper, Anne Bailey, congratulations Anne, uh, Gail Rankin, Maggie Goslin, and Sam Saeed. It has been such a pleasure to work with you. You contribute so much to our city. amazing team at KPMB. Uh, they're all here, almost. Andrew Dyke, Richard Intertina, Sanaj Shushka, Lynn Pilon, David Holloway, and Dave Smythe. And to our contractor, Bonfield, we look forward to finishing the building with you. <laughs> this is still a work in progress. Uh, there's more to come, a bit inside, and uh, a big surprise on the outside, as you alluded to. Um, so uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much.